Hi, welcome to Free Spirit and welcome to another close-up review. And this one is the Star Codes Astro Oracle. So there are 56 cards in here. It's from Heather Brown Robbins and the artwork is from Lucas de Souza. Anyway, I know that there's a lot of astrology um, moon decks that are coming out. I kind of went to town, so I've been getting a lot in the comments about some new release uh, moon decks and astrology decks. They're all coming, so I'm gonna have a lot more decks to show. There's a theme going on here. Um, I just treated myself to like three or four astrology moon uh, decks, and this was one of them. And actually, I bought this one first, um, so I definitely wanted to put a close-up review of this one first. So I just took the plastic off. I have not gone through the cards, but what leaped out to me, if you love astrology and you love oracle cards, this is a complete blend that was so cool that I did not hesitate. It was one of those that it was just an instant buy and I bought this before I bought even all the others. Um, it's unique in that way that literally there are 56 cards. So the basics are look to the sky to see within, but tap into the powerful energy of ancient astrological, astrological archetypes and the influential relationships between celestial bodies as they move through the sky and through your life with the star codes astro oracle. So boldly illustrated 56 cards that deliver messages from the universe and deepens the reader's knowledge of astrological terminology with each draw. So every card would say like uh, Aries, um, action, go for it. So it, the way that it goes, you'll actually become more familiar with astrology itself when using these oracle cards. And I love, like they're saying here, learn the challenges and gifts of each card and choose an action because no matter what your chart or cards say, the power is truly within you. But I'm going to show you all the cards to, to so you see what I'm trying to say, that you'll become more familiar with astrological terms, the signs, um, the aspects and then also what it means and you can pull cards and we'll do a bonus reading at the end but what i really love was 56 cards and you'll see what i mean how cool it is and i love the artistry on here it was lucas uh lua de souza okay so his artwork really grabbed me too i love the backs of the cards you take the plastic off you know this little ribbon here you know i just gotta say <laughs> Sometimes in my excitement, I just pull it off and I'm learning not to do that, to have a little more patience because I've actually ruined the edge of a card by doing that. Um, so yeah, so can I, if it's, oh, it did slide off. Okay, never mind. So these are actually, they're a little thinner cards I just noticed, but I'm not gonna mind that. The backs of the cards, do you see the backs of the cards, how beautiful that is? So I really love the backs of the cards, that's number one. As you can see right away, they're gonna be numbered, and here's Aries, you're gonna have this beautiful image, an Aries act. So it's right in line with what, what does Aries signify, right? So it's gonna be like that. You're gonna get this great, guidebook that is really extensive and inside you're going to get oh I love that moon you're going to get a real big description and you're also going to get the challenge and you're going to get the gift and how beautifully put the action so you're going to get a description the action the challenge the gift I love how that that's broken out action challenge and gift wow 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 I really love that Scorpio the message the action challenge and gift for all of them i love how that is so you're going to learn more about the signs you're going to learn more about the actual planets you're going to learn more about the astrological aspects what that means it's going to be all in the cards the houses even the action the challenge the gift i love 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 the tone um the 12th house, it's gonna go into the whole thing and then the action, the challenge, the gift. I love how it's broken out that way um, in the book. And I love what's in here. I love that there's the signs, that there's the houses, that there's the planets and it's all in the cards. I really think this is so well done. There was something about it I did not hesitate. Um, I did not hesitate with this deck whatsoever. <laughs> I just thought that was just, I just knew I was gonna get a lot from this deck in a lot of different ways because I'm not as savvy with um, astrological aspects. So if it's in an Oracle deck, I'm actually gonna get more familiar. I mean, I'm very familiar with the signs, the basics of the planets, but 
what does it all mean and tie in? And with the use of the deck, I thought I would actually even learn more about astrology. First of all, okay, not gilded, but I love the backs of the cards. I love the colors. It reminds me of stained glass, and I love everything like that. Um, I just love the backs of the cards. Let's get into the cards. And at the end, I'll do a bonus reading. But here we have Aries, Act. And I just love Taurus, Cultivate. And I love how it's depicted, and it's numbered up here, so you can find it in the deck. I also love here, it, it's like a crystal or a planet to me. Here we have Gemini, cross-pollinate. How interesting. And you have the symbol up here as well. And I love how it is actually depicted. Cancer, immerse. I love everything, the planet, the image, the number, the symbol. And the keyword, if you want to use your intuition or go into the guidebook, Leo Shine. I love how it's even shining through his mouth here. Virgo Digest. Libra Balance. I love that. Scorpio Investigate. Sagittarius Expand. Capricorn Achieve. Aquarius, collaborate. I love that collaboration card. Pisces, sensitive. Dignified, strength. Oh, how beautiful is that card? Dignified, strength. Debilitated, discomfort. Oh, this is interesting, these cards. Retrograde, review. Solar Calm, Clarify. How beautiful. I love these cards. I wasn't expecting those cards. Solar Flares, Activate. Sun, Source. I love that. Yeah, this looked like a jewel to me when I was looking at it online. Sun, Source. Beautiful. Moon, Perception. I know these are supposed to be like planets, but that also reminds me of crystals also at the same time. It's so funny. Moon, perception, mercury, messages. I love that. Venus, beloved. Mars, motion. Jupiter, abundance. Oh, I love that. I love the colors. Saturn, structure. Uranus, change. Neptune, vision. Pluto, rebirth. Chiron, heal. Yes, it doesn't that remind you of like a clear crystal in some places. I just love the cards. Okay, uh, Sirius Nurture. Palace Athena, Think. Juno Partnership. Vesta, Hearth. So pretty, my goodness, I love that. South Node Past, North Node Future, and it looks futuristic, Ascendant Entrance, Mid Heaven Pinnacle, Descendant Invitation, I'm Mum Coeli and Forgive me if I'm pronouncing anything incorrectly. Imam Coeli, Root. I like that. First house, Arrival. Second house, Resources. Oh, I love these. Third house, Communication. Fourth house, Home. Fifth house, Passion. Sixth house, sustainability. 
Seventh house relationship. Another holding hands. Eighth house mystery. Ninth house exploration. Tenth house authority. Eleventh house community. I was just thinking about when I do the bonus reading, we'll use our intuition plus go in the guidebook. I'm so curious with that action um, challenge, um, what it was broken out to. 12th house introspection, conjunction, alliance, trine, sextile, symbiosis, symbiosis. Opposition, confrontation. Oh, that's a great image. Opposition. Square, semi-square. Tension. Transits, climate. I love that. And progressions, journey. So I really love, there are 56 cards in here. I love the images. There are keywords right there. You can use your intuition or you can go into the guidebook. I can see that you can learn a lot with the using these cards. Um, let's get a reading. Let's just get a reading right now. We'll use our intuition and go in the guidebook. And yeah, we'll dive deeper with the Astro Code. So what are the messages? Let's just get a, give the deck a chance to tune into my energy and those that will find the video. And... Give us some messages for our minds and hearts right now with all that's going on. What are the Astro Code messages going to come through? And we'll use our intuition, but then also go into the guidebook because the, I love how it's broken out in the guidebook. I really love how it, I hear yeah, they're ready already. Okay, what are the messages that want to come through right now for all who may find this video? What are the Astro Codes? Ooh, right away let's get the first one right away neptune vision so we're getting vision at this time you may be, ha be having heightened visions at this time there's been repeating messages where no matter what reading i do or messages it's all about our intuition our inner guidance um so you may be finding that all your clears are really heightened at this time that you're just really intuitive and feeling very guided and this includes having visions but let's see what the book says but i just had to add that in because that is literally a repeating message. But it's very easy to find in the book. Um, you just look up number, you know, it says 26 here. So you look up number 26, Neptune, vision. Like a cool blue pearl. Oh my God, just like I said, the planets reminded me of crystals um, at the same time. <laughs> and it says here, like a cool blue pearl floating in an inky sea. This planet symbolizes how we float in the ocean of the collective conscious, conscious. Neptune, the modern ruler of Pisces, takes about 165 years to tour the zodiac. On a practical level, it signifies water, liquids, oils, and art supplies. On a challenging day, it shows how we avoid gritty reality, whether we escape through our imagination, addictions, or martyrdom. On a lovely day, Neptune speaks of spirituality, imagination, and psychic perception, just like what I said. So the action is pray, meditate, intuit, use your divination, rest and dream, activate the right side of your brain, and step out of sequential logic into a sense of the infinite. Engage ceremony and ritual. Find a dream or vision and bring it back here to manifest. Because Neptune invokes both intuition and imagination, it can blur the boundaries between the two. It's all too easy to believe that what you want or what you are afraid of is in fact reality, which can make it easy for others to manipulate you by playing to your hopes and fears. So take each step with care, Working with Neptune is like walking in the fog. You can see the present moment clearly. It's just the future and the past that get lost in the hopes and fears. If the world feels too harsh, or if you're feeling easily overwhelmed, tend to your sensitive antennae. And yeah, tend to your sensitive antennas, you know. Pray rather than worry. Neptune speaks of our psychic 
permeability, encouraging us to soak up our surroundings. Use that to your advantage and choose your surroundings carefully. Meditate with a group, tune into the trees, the earth beyond and beneath, the sky above or sacred sites. Immerse yourself in whatever feeds you. And the challenge is Neptune overwhelm can tune Oh, Neptune overwhelm can turn acceptance into passivity, imagination into illusion, sensitivity and the hunger for spirit into addiction. So watch for water damage. And the gift is allow yourself to float, to swim in that great ocean of the collective consciousness. Soak up the presence of divine soul. There is no separation between you and all sentient beings, between you and the realms of God and spirit. And that's what I was saying from the beginning, but what a beautiful message. Should we get another one? I just feel like going even deeper. So we have Neptune, spirituality. <clears throat> Let's get some, one more. Ooh. One more clear message. I love these cards. Let's see. We're getting uh, the one I couldn't pronounce, Root, which would probably help if we're getting so activated with visions and our intuition to at the same time be rooted. So I love that this came out together. Um, Imam Coeli, and I swear I don't, I'm really bad with, with words sometimes, so I do apologize. But I love how it's visions. You know, this is when they were saying you get lost, you're out there, you're connected with spirit and the infinite. But then here we have the to stay rooted would help us, right? Um, so that's gonna help us. So I love that those two came out together. Let's get the root. So the root, imagine your spine extends down into the earth like a tap root, the strong central root under a tree, through the earth to a point on the sun's path below. Latin, Latin for bottom of the sky. Oh my gosh, I love that. The Imam Kaweli for I, or I see, and maybe I should just call it I see, <laughs> instead of trying to pronounce this, points to the memories and experiences that fed your first roots, your early home life, your family's traditions, and your biological and emotional heritage. And so the action is look to the roots, look to the roots. Think about what makes you feel at home and secure, what creates sanctuary for you. Investigate the foundation and become conscious of the traditions and assumptions that underlie the situation. Lean into habits that help you feel secure and grounded. If you enjoyed your childhood, family traditions can help you feel safe and strong in a storm. If you grew up in chaos, you may crave the opposite. And so create your own quiet sanctuary. If you grew up around arguments, arguing with people at home may seem normal to you, but that may not be the case for your housemates. So you may need to learn to be present and to present your points in a more transformative, less combative way. The IC also speaks of deeper roots, the spiritual, religious, or philosophical underpinnings of your early life. Just as a fish doesn't notice the water it swims in, it can be hard to see the spiritual assumptions you swam within as a child. These philosophical underpinnings could give you a deep connection to spirit or leave you feeling restricted or judged. Whether they imbued you with unconscious habits or were that from which you rebelled, until you examine those deep roots, they will define your foundational paradigm. And so the challenge is unconscious patterns from your personal history may underlie the situation and need excavation which has been a recurring message. And the word ex excavation, if you're used to my channel, has come up several times in the readings to be cleared. Okay, and the gift is build roots of your own. Feel your spine extend like a deep tap root of a tree into the ground, fed and feel the strength of the earth pulsating up through you, holding you strong through any storm. So I love that these two came out together because this could be really amplified right now, the Neptune, but you're going to be rooted with the IC. And I am going to call it the IC, so I never have to try and pronounce this word. But you have strong IC. I see you're rooted, aligned even to the sun, so you can be strong in the storm, yet completely um, 
you know, this can be off the charts, but you're firmly rooted that this is a balance here. And it's so beautiful. And it's been a recurring message, like one step in the physical, one tapped into it all. So strong roots while our vision and, and this is all so activated, all your clairs and everything else. I just resonate with that completely. But you can go on and on with these cards. And I love how, well, first of all, I've never even heard of my mom, Coeli. I love that term and I might be mispronouncing it. I will call it the IC, but I certainly identify with being rooted and the need to be rooted. And I love the messages. I love how that was broken out in the first, you get a message, you get the action, the challenge and the spiritual gift. That is a beautiful thing in the guidebook. And I love the cards and how deep it's going. Talk about how deep it's going and how, how you know how tapped in it's going i love what it's it was what it's talking about i love the tone this is in my vein i love i just love this deck i love the backs of the cards i love the meanings i love the guidebook i appreciate how it's broken down I love what's included. This is the Star Codes Astro Oracle. Um, like they said, there are 56 cards in here. Yeah, 56 cards in here. It, the cover of the deck is going to look like this. From Heather Rowan Robbins. Artwork by Lucas Lum, Lua de Souza. Uh, beautiful. I mean, this is really, really beautiful. And I love the artwork in here. And I love everything that we just covered. So you got a taste of the bonus reading. You can use your intuition right away because it does say it right here on the keywords, cultivate. And I love the images. And and again, these look like planets, but at the same time, they look like crystals to me. And it was funny in the guidebook, she started talking about a pearl. It does. Um, I love the signs and symbols, messages in here. I love how it's um, depicted. I just, yeah, I really love this deck. I really do. Um, so this has been the Star Coast Astro Oracle. It is a new release. It just came out in the last couple of weeks. And enjoy if you get the deck. Take care. Bye-bye.